YouTube Poo's more famous? Yo, YouTube Poo for the first time in my life has more followers than Twitch Poo, you know? Michigan or OSU? Oh, go blue. Uh, listen, I went to University of Colorado. I grew up in Michigan, though, so um, I have faint interest in Michigan. Yeah. Can I have a counter somewhere on my screen for the hard level PB? Um, sure. Once OBS does its thing. OBS is trying to get me to update and I didn't want it. We were promised flying cars. This is a future we got instead. Also a note that says, yeah, I got a hand tattoo. I took the second skin off today. It's super scabbed. I'm a little worried that I fucked it up a little bit. Yeah. Does B like Wario or Waluigi? He doesn't even know who they are yet. I haven't even. I don't even think he's seen them. Yeah. I don't even think he's seen them yet. Uh, we have flying cars, chat. I don't know why you guys think we don't have flying cars. They're helicopters. Right? Is Punk come out tonight? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Um... No, I'm surprised. I'm surprised WWE. I mean, if if you had the chance to get CM Punk, if CM Punk was willing to come back to WWE, I'm surprised they wouldn't do it because, um, quite frankly, it's the most money they could make. Like even CM Punk coming back to AEW was a big deal, but CM Punk coming back to WWE would be a, the biggest deal. You know what I mean? Um, at the same time, I don't think anyone thinks that. CM Punk is going to work a full schedule. People still hate the guy? I mean, I get it. Well, it's not even just that. Like, hold on one second, Chad. I gotta do one thing. Sorry, chat. I had to go tell Alexa to turn my lights purple because I got a new phone and now my phone won't log into my smart lights. I hate technology. Um, uh, I think, yeah, I think that the most money WWE can make is bringing back CM Punk, but I don't think that CM Punk is coming back to WWE, no. Yeah. Uh, thank you. How mad was my mom? I told my mom two weeks ago that the only thing she's allowed to say is, oh, that's cool about my tattoos now. <laughs> so she's been really cool about it. <laughs> but you can, you can feel the pain in her eyes.
Mitch is so close, but you're worried he's going to give up the correct theory? Mitch is literally, what do I want to say? Mitch literally is on, he's like, he has the answer, right? You know how I had the answer, but I was just clerically wrong? He has the answer, but he thinks he's wrong. You know? Like, he knows the answer, but he thinks it's wrong for some reason. Ah, I'm so bad at this. How many rooms are there? 81. Yeah, I'm pretty much opening up the floodgate of spoilers now. Yeah. He doesn't know that he has the right answer. He said at one point, he goes, here's the thing is that <laughs> he goes, he goes, he goes, Gangster's Paradise is talking about the direction in life, but, <laughs> but, uh, never going to give you up is talking about your direction in love. And I was like, what does that mean, Mitch? There's no direction of love on your controller. Think about the inputs you have, my dude. He ha he literally has the answer. He's literally written down every every direction. It's it's honestly amazing. Oh my god. Uh, Punishima, thank you for seven months. I was going to leave my house thinking it would solve a clue. Yeah, I know. Shut up. That was four days ago. <laughs> uh, what up, Tofu? How's your day going? About to have a second Thanksgiving. I had, oh, that was stupid. I had that last night with my uh, leftovers. Oh, that was a late one. My hands are cold. In the bottom right. Oh, well, I'm surprised that worked. I thought I was gonna fuck it up. Uh, yeah, the heat will be out till Monday. Oh, Monday we have someone coming to look at it. Although I have one thing that I'm gonna try after stream. I'm just gonna try turning off... <laughs> Chat, I'm gonna try turning off my entire house power and turning it back on. <laughs> right? I mean, that's the simplest thing, right? No, I have not seen the reward for hard mode. That's the only spoiler I don't want now. Now I'm okay with pretty much every other spoiler. Like, I know I missed some, um, I know I missed some, at least one secret at least one because the tnt room i never got in that pipe in the wall yeah i did find corn dilly yes oh i almost didn't get that well it might be a, a month or two before i find it but... It honestly might be a month or two.
Uh, Moosley, thank you for the prime. Yeah. Whew. That one I feel like you want earlier. This one you this one you want as number room 81. That's room 81 right there. Ooh. I fucked up. Shark Room 81? I could do Shark Room. Shark Room's not bad now that I know what to do. I actually think this Room 81 would be kind of hard. I think it'd be doable, but this Room 81 would be, would be a legitimately difficult. Uh, this could be a mid-40s, and I'm okay with that one. Torpedo room, room 81. Ugh, not the torpedo room. <laughs> that one's that one's not hard, but I always hit that spike. Honestly, I should grab the P switch and bring it with. Why did I do that? I just throw it up. I wait till it's coming out and then I throw it up. Oh, really? Honestly, this room 81. Fishing boo, room 81, I'm okay. Uh, nothing where, oh, nothing where I have to spin jump on things is room 81. Absolutely no, nothing that I have to spin jump on. Any, any spin jumping on saws is room 81, ain't gonna happen for me. You literally spin jump on a fishing boo? Yeah, but it's just two jumps. It's not like I gotta follow like this perfect line. Like that, the double saw room, that one would crush me room 81. I know I missed that one, but I actually wouldn't mind that room 81. You're watching my YouTube videos as they come out? Love a heart rate monitor as I got close. Oh, balls. Mitch is looking up One Direction songs now. That doesn't even make sense. It said right direction, not one direction. Barb, Barb, I mean, Barb is a big Harry Styles fan. We know that. Well documented. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked that one up. It ain't real till you can consistently get 20 in a row. Your mother ain't real. I already defeated Bowser? Yeah, I did yesterday. Oh, I jumped way too early on that. You hate that about her? I know, I'm sorry.
Not live on YouTube? Yeah, I know. Not going live on YouTube today. I'm only streaming for like three hours today. Ah! Can't believe that happened. My mom won't talk to me now. Why? Because I didn't pick her up. Yeah, I didn't pick her up from the airport and I got a hand tattoo. It was a double whammy. Yeah. No! Why am I so bad at that? How uh, did the heat situation go? We got it. Uh, no, I mean, I think everyone, I think everyone in my family has, um, any, any of the doubters in my family have gone to not doubting. I've been doing this now for, I've been a live streamer. Like, this has been my full-time job now for eight years. That's wild. Yeah, December, what is it? Like December 20th or something. I know. So yeah, I think, I think uh, that ship has at least sailed. And there were definitely people in my family who publicly and privately doubted. Um, but, you know, to be fair, so did I. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, so did I. I mean, so. Doubters and shambles on that one. Uh, sweetie, is this the run? Uh, probably not close to the run yet. Just close to the, um... You know, the PB. Yeah. That was stupid. If I beat this, I might give Iron Bros another run? Absolutely not. I think I'm done with Mario Maker, to be honest with you. Uh, I think the thing I'm most interested in is, after this, like Mario-wise, is Wonder ROM hacks. And what's going to go on with Wonder hacking, because it seems like Wonder hacking's pretty... Pretty advanced, honestly. And it seems like people are going to be able to do some things. Have I played Mario RPG yet? No, I'm definitely going to play Mario RPG. Uh, no. I might start playing it after, like, do, like, three, four hours of this and then do Mario RPG because um, hard mode's going to be... A lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa! Has this restoked any interest in SMW hacks or just wonder? Um. I mean, I always have interest in SMW hacks, yeah. Uh, but I think Wonder right now is just more compelling. There's a lot more data you can put on shit. Like, as far as, like, let me, let me rephrase this. It's gonna take someone... 
years to make something. Not that there's not already something that's going to make me as happy as this does already in the works, but it's it's gonna take someone years to do it, you know what I mean? Whereas Wonder, I'm gonna get to see new stuff like right away. That's all. Yeah, the bar is, the bar is so low for Wonder Hacks right now because there are none. Invictus 2, I love Invictus 2. You lost all interest in Wonder after playing this? <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I can't, I'm not going back to like speed regular wonder. I'm saying like Mario Wonder Hacks though, Beast. You're not gonna play a Mario Wonder Hack? Whee! Dream World 3? Oh, there's totally tons of SMW hacks I'm going to play, chat. I'm not saying... I'm done playing SMW hacks or anything like that. I'm saying like, I think like I'm most, like my mental is most excited about, why am I fucking that up? Is most excited about Mario Wonder. Will I be speedrunning this? Yeah, but I wanna beat hard mode. So that might prevent me. That might prevent me from, from becoming a great speedrunner. <gasps> I'm bad at this room. Axe Ruin Wonder. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, chat. Have y'all. I. It's weird because like, I'm not talking about Mario. I'm talking about Mario Wonder hacks. Uh, night for daydream. You, what's your time? I do like the yellow Red Bull. Yeah, what's your time in this game? Yeah, you have to clear 81 rooms. Ah! I think there is a vested interest. I think Wonder Mods are go faster just because this has gone faster. Does that make sense? Just because, like, what's a better, I'm trying to do that a different way. Just put in the game, Genie. Simple, easy, good. Oh, how's my day been? Just kind of started. Unlock for hard mode is? No, and please don't tell me. Uh, you know, I've never had the peach. Congrats on the game, it was fun to watch. I didn't make it, don't congrats me. Yeah, don't congrats me, I didn't make this game. The unlock is Barb will send me a million IRL. I just want one of those fancy water features he has.
Whee! How many to win? 81. Yeah. No, oh, I didn't think it woke up. Oh, I thought I died on that. Ah, I did die. Are there 81 unique rooms or will some repeat? No, all unique. I tell you what, this, this is room 81 would not be bad, chat. Fuck this room as room 81. This room would be a shitty room 81. This room's, honestly, this might be the hardest room. Just cause it's long and annoying. That one's relatively difficult too. <laughs> you only gotta beat 80 rooms, actually, looking at it. No way the chuck is harder than the double saw circle. Yeah, I guess the double saw is probably the hardest. You're right. That that one's really, really difficult. This one's low-key hard, too. I know. Um... Torpedo room is bad one. I haven't had the torpedo room yet today, honestly. I'm bad at this room. I'm bad at this room. I, I'm trying. I've been trying new strats on it, and I feel like I shouldn't. That room's awkward. You've been grinding Splunky ninety nine seven ninety nine. Oh. That's how you want to do that room. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, here we go. Room 81 right here. That's room 81, chat. This one, definitely not room 81. Ah, oh, fuck that one. Oh, no, no, here we go, chat. This is room 81. That's the one you want is room 81. This one's not bad either. Room 81, does it contain the origin of your, my name? Yes. I almost fucked that up. Uh, no, Vesperado. Usually when I'm stoned, I just go through with it. Not Room 81, chat. want that is room one.
Uh, still Grand Pooh World 3. Michigan just got a very favorable call to say the least. Cheat to win, baby. Okay, we're, let's go back. Let's try this again. There we go. Lucky he was in a hurry because at one point he committed to 100 rooms. How much more could he fit in this hack? I don't, I, I just feel like there's not a, at some point there was, had to be like no room left. Cause this isn't even running on like with the extra chip, is it? Like this is ridiculous. There's so much shoved in here. The fucking any Super Nintendo game. Chat, just to put in perspective of how little data there is on Super Nintendo games, all right? If I took a picture on my phone of that cartridge that's playing this, or a, I, I took a screenshot on my phone of this game right here, right? It would contain more data than the game. Like a screenshot of my phone is more data than this game. Yeah, it's not just a little more. Yeah, but isn't that, isn't that just wild? Is it possible to make SNES hacks bigger than what the original cart was capable of? Yes. clear 81 rooms in a row to get past this yes indeed modern warfare 3 has no excuses to be 200 gigs oh why is that one so hard No, but I'm sure other people will do it in between Stu and me. I was what, number five or six to get 799? I'm okay with that. Whee. I hate this room. Chat, I'm just going to say if this is room 81, you just might as well restart. You might as well restart if this is room 81. Done. Over. Game over if that's room 81. You haven't caught a Lunky stream in a hot minute? I haven't played Lunky in a bit. Whoops. Did it wrong again. No, no YouTube today.
Kinda wanna play some Lunky on the Steam Deck and chill. Dude, Lunky is like one of the best travel games, honestly. It really is. Because you can play Lunky and your goal can be anywhere from three minutes to, you know, two hours. Honestly. And it's just a great game to fuck around with. Lunky's your favorite game, full stop? I get it, man. It's definitely up there for me. Lunky 2 is top five all-time game for me. And at one point it held my top spot for sure. And it also mentions me in the credits. So like, hmm, shout out to that game. Best roguelike is Risk of Rain 2. Why am I so bad at that? It's just there's like five or six of them that still fuck me up. There's, there's so many that I get 100% of the time and then there's five or six that are just, just wreck me. You're the nerd that says Lunky and Risk of Rain are not roguelikes? Okay, well, Lunky is definitely a roguelike. It's not a roguelite. So you would be you'd be a wrong nerd if you don't think Lunky's a roguelike. There's nothing roguelite about Lunky. Lunky is literally rogue, but as a platformer. Yeah. Can we all agree that whoever named the genres is a dickhead? Yes. Why did you not jump high? Roguelikes are turn-based and tile-based? You are absolutely pretentious. And, and what are you talking about? Rogue? Am I the only one that's played Rogue? Am I the only one that sat in a fucking arcade? And played Rogue? You gain, you gain power-ups over runs? No, you don't gain power-ups over runs in Splunky. You gain shortcuts? Yeah, but that's not for... You don't use them. The shortcuts are just like an outside game progression. You don't use them. You don't gain power-ups, though. What? 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 Now you're just making stuff up. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do rungs of rogue. You goddamn youngins. You think Mitch is losing it? He's just way overthinking. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> all games, all games are basically rogue. All video games fall into three categories. Rogue collectible card game. Ah! A first person shooter. No one's talking about Rogue Legacy. <laughs> well, I think there's two types of Mario player. There's a Mario player that wants to figure out the puzzle himself that likes puzzles. There's a Mario player that wants to figure out the puzzles themselves that doesn't like puzzles. And then there's the Mario player that's just like, hey, chat, just give me the answer.
Rogue Squadron's good. <sighs> Why do I suck at this room? And then there's there's group three. I'd say most most people are fall into group three. Just like, hey chat, give me the answer. Hey chat, work with me on this. You know what I mean? Which is probably the most compelling for chat, except that like once once it's done once, there's gonna be someone in chat that at least pretends like, oh, I just came up with this. They already knew. Yeah. Your eyes are in butt pickles? I don't know what that means. Blunky's one of the most satisfying platformers. Yeah. I get I get why my friends don't like it though. I wish I wish I could convince them to like Spelunky the way I do. But I get why they don't. You wish you were number three in general? Yeah, I'm um, I'm definitely number one. Like, I don't want the answer, and I like puzzles. Like, I like being stuck on a puzzle. I like finding the solution. Like, the longer I'm stuck on something, the more satisfying getting it is. Yeah, that, that was fair. Yeah. Okay, jump, bro. Jump. Do I like puzzle games? Yeah, I like puzzle games to a certain point. But I like... I don't know, I like hard stuff. How's the hand? Itchy. Do I like shooters? Um, I like BRs. You like it a lot? Thank you. Puzzle fucked up. Uh, tofu at first, Sim and Grim. Um, it's a. Well, that was the first time I've had this day. It's a good puzzle. I actually think I. I kind of think. Rampu Worlds Two was a hard, a little bit maybe of a harder puzzle. But I think I liked this puzzle more. Yeah, but I think I liked this puzzle a little bit more because it was um, more like you were in the puzzle the whole game, but you didn't know it. Oh. Overall difficulty wise, how does this game compare to other ROM hacks? Uh, this is definitely one of the more difficult ones out there, for sure. Yeah, it's definitely on the upper echelon of difficulty. Like, not the hardest ever, by any means, but it's, it's a hard hack. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna fuck up a lot of people um, that don't play hacks consistently or are just trying to drop in for this hack, you know? Trying to take a big step up. But, I mean, with that being said, like, oh, whoops. The only thing you can do is get good. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what, no matter what, there's gonna be a hack that you, like, all of a sudden, like, you take a big step up on on difficulty. Can I be real, though? The biggest thing that holds people back, I'm noticing now, is just, like, Uh, 
There's a lot of people that are using save states when they don't need to. And I'm noticing it. And they just, it's holding them back. Yeah. Say it? I mean, I said it. Yeah, there's a lot of people using save states when they don't need to, and it's, it's holding them back a little bit. Sorry, I should have. I need a, do need a timer. It's one thing to use them. They, they're good for practice, not progression. <laughs> I'm sucking ass today. Um, it, that's the best way to put it. I, it. It's good for practice, not progression, in my opinion. That's like the best way. Oh, I, I fucking suck at that. Did my mother forgive me? No. I need to get good. Um, but I think it holds, I think it holds back consistency a little bit. Um, and I also have noticed, I've noticed a lot that people are using save states and then getting frustrated at level design because they have a bad save state. So they fucked up a part before that, that made the level not work. You know what I mean? And then they're getting mad because they can't beat part B because they didn't do part A right. But I also think like, whatever makes you have fun is what's the most important. You know, so. Yeah. You can see some people save saving through hard mode. They should be, no. If you save state through hard mode, you're a horrible human. Just go watch a YouTube video then. Um, yeah, rewind, save states. Like, I don't, I don't think it's as helpful in the long run. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> That's all they did to test it? Well, that's different. Yeah, that's different. Nice double. Thank you, I... I did a great job getting none of them. Yeah, I don't have a problem with them using them in testing. Oh, what happened there? Yeah, uh, Stu's completed it. Um, but I would say that Stu is better than me. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. But I would say that Stu's better. You use rewind to manipulate RNG? What? That's, I feel like that's like the worst way to use it. Just accept RNG happens in life. Listen, I say all this, but I don't, I play games for a living. So, I mean, you know, I should shut the fuck up. I got all the time in the world to do this shit. 
If you're coming home from a fucking day after work and you want to fucking zone out to a video game, ignore everything I'm saying. I know how many rooms is 81. Um, I don't want to know the end of whatever's at the end of this, so I don't want to know. Yeah. How can Mitch forget Tofu singing hot drinks? Well, if you don't know the song, it's not going to mean anything to you. Like, I tell you right now, I bet, I, like, if you look at Just Kit, he doesn't know a lot of the songs in there. I bet he doesn't remember the name of all of them. I had just heard of hot drinks like two days before Paizo Coliseum, you know? Uh, Dan Salito, thank you so much. This one's low key a pretty hard room. Oh my god, I'm so bad at that room. Thanks to deodorant. I mean, I get names wrong, chat. Things are starting in the beginning so you don't miss anything. Got you. What's my controller? It's just a Super Nintendo controller. Fam Super Famicom, I guess, to be more specific. Eighty-one. <laughs> Eighty-one. Yeah, I haven't gotten close yet. It'll take a while to get consistent enough because I suck. The good news is, though, once we do this, it'll be done, and we'll never have to do it ever again. What's the difference between hard mode and normal mode? Like 50 rooms, 60, 70 rooms? And then I'll be depressed that I never have to do it again? No, I won't be depressed about it. What did I think about qualifying the tunnel incident? I haven't seen qualifying or the tunnel incident. Is this part of a bigger hack? Yes. Yes, this is Grand Pinwheel 3. Hard mode for AGDQ. Oh, no! Is it comparable difficulty to beating 799? I don't know. I haven't beaten it yet. So I could not tell you. Less than 81's less than 99, so no. Um, 99. Different types of difficulty, I'd say. Yeah.
robbed? I agree. I thought I was robbed on that one. what this room was for a second. Oh, you butt muncher. Yeah, I mean, I'd say the one thing with Spelunky is it's always random. Uh, whereas, like, in theory, eventually, I'll just get good. You know what I mean? Like after I see each room enough times that I have a little like thing for it. Just like 81. Is it possible I haven't seen all the rooms yet? I don't think so at this point, no. I think I've seen all the rooms at this point. I just don't have like a strategy for every room yet. That's the problem. Uh, gave up on YouTube? What do you mean gave up on YouTube? I, 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 I'm all, I'm just streaming for two hours today. Two, three hours. What do you, give up on YouTube. It's literally one day. Where I didn't feel like turning it on because this song gets DMCA'd. The entire channel's dead. I literally put out a video this morning and a community post and two shorts. The internet is overreacting. I did. I abandoned you. I abandoned you all. Oh, shit. Come on. I was ducked. We skill now unemployed. Oh, balls. You guess I'm not the people's champ? YouTube who hasn't seen the hand tattoo yet? Uh, does YouTube who still not have a hand tattoo? We still haven't even gotten to where the videos haven't even gotten to where I have a hand tattoo yet. How many? How many? Fuck! How fucking long is this series gonna be? Wait, really? Oh my god! All right, I gotta, I gotta concentrate here, chat. 
How do, why am I not getting this? What am I doing wrong? Each episode's like two levels. Man, we skill now is milking. Milking it. It's gonna be a 30 episode series. The videos are awesome. As long as as long as they're good videos, I don't care. The puzzle video we're gonna work on, we'll do, I'm gonna do like a full voiceover and such. And then I'm going to do a, like a full, you know how I, we did the Baron of Shell video? I'm gonna do a video like that too. That's just like way too long. It's gonna be like a, probably like a two hour video. Yeah. Uh, the puzzle level video, it'll be a while. Probably end, end of next week, I would imagine. Once I get good at that room, we're, we'll win. We'll win the whole thing once I figure out that room, chat. That's the only room we're dying in anymore. Just that room. Must be mental. Woo! What must be mentally exhausting? Uh, what? Doing this? No. This is fun for me. The only time, the only time my brain shuts off chat is when I in zone in a game. Otherwise my brain just moves way too fast all the time. We. Oh, that was bullshit. Uh, my PB is only 17. That was also bullshit. Who has ADHD confirmed? I do. I mean, diagnosed. Yeah, I mean, like, definitely confirmed, like, diagnosed, but... It's been, like, a recent thing that I got that diagnosed, and I... Don't know what to do about it. Can I tell you something that I noticed this week with my hand? It's uh, like because it's healing and stuff and I have something to look at. I'm, it's, I've been better. I think, I think I need tattoos to not get, to not, the uh, ADHD. Tattoos healing helps me. Uh, Stu has done it. Uh, but before you're like, oh, shit, ooh, you suck. First of all, uh, I think he spent 30 hours on it. Just Tower of Fate. So I've still got 25 hours before I pick up to it. And secondly, secondly, uh, Stu's better than me. At the game. Yeah, at the Mario Worlds. <laughs> ah! I feel like I need to go like super left. 
Excuses, excuses. Okay, well that didn't work. No, I don't know the reward if I beat it. Laser's gonna get this done before me. That save saving son of a bitch. I'm sure lots of people are gonna beat it before me. And I'm okay with that, chat. Whoops. I'm okay with that. Um, that doesn't hurt my feelings at all. Oh, whoops. can't pass the first level yet and you're eight hours in. Um, that's pretty normal, honestly. No. Yeah, you. what's gonna happen to me is I'll have like this horrible PB for like four days and I'll just explode and beat the whole thing in one go. It's kind of like how in Spelunky I didn't get past like level, what was it, like level 716 forever and then I finally, and then I just beat it, yeah. Why 81 and not just 80? I don't know. Why are bushes bushy? Why are shorts short? from 36,000 feet what in the just air happened? on my way to Vegas. Does this make me a member of some other kind of Mile High Club? Yes. What a choke. Oh, I fucked that up. So glad chat's keeping you updated on Mitch. I mean, he's right. He has the answer. I've heard him say basically the answer out loud. Like to the point where I'm like, is he trolling me? He solved it? Oh, thank God. He got it? Thank God. Fuck you. What did he say when he got it? Was he, did he, did he do that thing where he felt dumb? That's what I did. You gotta check out his VOD later for the post solve rant.
He also missed an up. See, I get it. That was my problem. Was clerical errors? I think is was the hardest part about that. Why are you losing your P speed? What am I doing wrong? Why can I not keep P speed right there? Whoops. I actually blasted through the puzzle. The only thing that kept me up was a clerical error. It was, um... Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a good, solid puzzle. Um, in general, I mean, the math part was like, you know, you knew that was math, right? You knew that was math. I think the problem I had was counting, like counting things. I didn't know if I was dropping the right stuff. And I thought it was the one, two, three, four, five for the longest time. Yeah, because the item, I didn't know which ones were, like, did we count all the stars? And then the tower having two of those things. Yeah, it was definitely the overworld sprites that took me the longest time because like I think I think the whole time I was like, oh, there's only five stars of this kind or four stars of this kind. Yo, Ms. Bear, what's up? Thank you so much. How many do I need? 81. What's my PB? Only 17. We're right there. Honestly, chat. I got, oh, that was a mistake. Snag that coin. You only count to four? How'd you get 60K channel points? Probably from watching. You believe in me? That's all I need. I just need all of your belief. I just need all of your belief, all of your belief, all of your belief. Fuck your belief. Your belief is horrible. Give me more belief. Give me more belief. Shit, what was I, what was my timer at? Starting the timer over. We're at six and a half hours now. More beef, more but beef. That was your fault, chat. All right, anytime I, anytime we succeed, it's on me. And anytime we die, chat, it's your fault for not being, not giving enough power of positivity. Listen, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. True, true. Now I sound like your mother. Do I believe in life after love? No. I don't I don't think I'm strong enough. Ah, I jumped so early. How many Yoshis have died during this game? Not a ton. There I wouldn't say there's been a ton of Yoshis. The Grumpy Dungeon Masters are providing you inspiration for your next attempt. 
Use it wisely. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to... Um, I probably I got that inspiration from my good role play. Clearly, so I'm gonna roll another d20 right now. Oh bullshit! That was garbage, Dookie Butter ass. Can we all agree on that? Fair amount of Yoshis were resurrected in that one level. That's a good point. You cast Guidance? Lies. Um, so I watched the community episode of D&D last night. Both of them, actually. And, um, you know what? They are fairly accurate. They're, they're actually relatively accurate episodes. Yeah. You just started watching Community for the first time? I'm just gonna tell you that you need to watch it twice. Except for season four, you can just skip season four. Yeah. Did I watch the D&D &D movie? Yes, but I watched it before. But there's been a ton of D&D &D movies. Skip the G.I. Joe episode, too? Oh, I like that episode. I think the G.I. Joe episode's kind of, I mean, it's not like my the best, it's not the top half of the episodes, but I think that episode's fine. I think it has some very funny G.I. Joe tropes. Oh, balls. Easily the worst of all of them? You're insane, fake snowman. But clearly you're insane because a baked snowman can't, a snowman can't be baked. And it also certainly can't 69. It would just melt into other snow lady. Um, it's not even, the G.I. Joe episode is not even close to the worst episode. Like, there's 12 season 4 episodes and 3 season 6 episodes that are easily worse. I think you're just scared of turning 40. It made you feel your own mortal pain. turn 40 next week uh oh no shit oh next year yeah same so do i uh season four has one good episode the puppets episode Spectre Space Time Convention episode is significantly worse than the G.I. Ed Joe episode. Significantly. 
The season opener for season four is worse. All those episodes where they pretend Pierce is there, but he's really not in season four are worse. You know what episode's fucking amazing and but is controversial in community is Meow Meow Beans. I think Meow Meow Beans is fucking hilarious. I think that episode is so fucking funny. The We're Gonna Be Less Weird song. My Meow Meow Beans. I think the Dean just did an okay job, so I'm gonna give him a three. My Meow Meow Beans. You have a Meow Meow Beans t-shirt? <laughs> We're threes. Uh, remedial chaos theory is, yeah, I mean, that, that one's just like an all-timer. That's an all-time episode of TV in general. Yeah. Fuck! Only episode of season four you likes the Freaky Friday one? Oh, I think that one sucks. I like the puppet episode of um, of season four, but that one that one's it. Here's his funeral. And your bottle of sperm. hard mode you have to beat every room in the tower of fate Stop watching part way through season four. I, I mean, like, no, I can't even really blame you. Like, season four is so bad, but season five is really good, and season six is good. Like, it's definitely lower than any season besides maybe like the first half of one, but season six, is, I think, is actually has a lot of really funny shit in it. It's just at season six, they just don't have. Troy and Shirley and Pierce, you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, it's just like, there's just a uh, community. But they had to make season six, you know? making a naked gun joke? Did you just try and make a naked gun joke? We're old. I don't know if we're that old. You mean airplane? Is an airplane older than naked gun? It is weird that OJ's in Naked Gun, I know. Wow! Uh, 
How can I not do that one? You like old comedies? I miss the era where we were getting like a bunch of funny R-rated comedies. I feel like we don't get any R-rated comedies anymore. You know? Oh, this was fucking bullshit. All the pizza in the world? Hey. And also you have a nice butt? I mean, I don't know when you got to see it, but thanks. You missed the era where there were jokes and comedies? There's nothing worse than like going on Netflix or Hulu or whatever and you're like, you look at a movie and you're like, man, look at all these funny people in this movie. And then you look at the description of the movie and you're like, this isn't going to be funny at all. Oh, nut sacks. Uh, comedy movies have been destroyed by big budget hero movies there's two types of movies that do really well they're they're right now it's kind of like and i th i think superheroes or superhero movies are kind of on their way out a bit like as far as like needing like seven thousand of them every year um but that in horror movies crush people still go see horror movies in the theaters they're good dates they're good dates and they're generally cheap fuck Yeah, huge resurgence of horror movies in the theaters, like the 80s. But they aren't scary. What's a what's a scary movie to you? What's what movie do you think scary? And if you just say none of them, then no movie has ever been scary for you. Yeah, I think I was gonna say I feel like that's the thing. I do feel like every comedy movie I'd rather see at home than in a theater. And so I'm probably part of the problem why there's not comedy movies. You know what I mean? Oh. I like the theater in my area, and I still would rather sit at home for a comedy movie. Because there's still one thing that I'd like to do during a comedy movie that I can't do in the theater. No! <laughs> Jerk it? It's dark in there, I can do that in the theater. No, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, funny Dougie. Am I watching Survivor Series tonight? Yes, but I gotta watch it on tape delay because we're, we have a nice family day planned. Because my mom is in town uh, visiting, which I'm really excited about. I love, I love my mom and stepdad coming in town. Uh, but I will have to watch Survivor Series on tape delay. Just not live, I guess. Which really I don't get mad at because there's always, like every WWE pay-per-view, honestly, there's two or three matches I want to skip. Whereas like an AEW pay-per-view, I, I don't really like, 
I was talking about this the other day with my brother. It's like, in a WWE pay-per-view, there's always some matches that I care about the story, but the match ends up sucking. In AEW, there's always, like, a match where I could give a fuck what's happening in the story at all, but the match is fucking amazing. You fucking fuck fuck. I don't mind a long entrance if it's good. Like, Bad Bunny can do an entrance for as long as he wants, you know, when he comes, when he wrestles. Do I like the Mario movie? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think the Mario movie is like transcendent, you know, like, oh my God, best movie ever. But like for a Mario fan, I thought it hit everything I could personally want out of a movie. Um, and it made my kid really happy. Um, you skipped Swerve Hangman. You felt like you'd seen it already. I had never seen anything like Swerve Hangman. That last Swerve Hangman match was... That last Swerve Hangman match was just... That was like a horror movie. Yeah, that was like a horror movie. The only That's the only way... Fuck me! The Swerve, the Swerve Hangman deathmatch. I love Swerve too because Swerve wrestled in Portland a ton. For Defy. Um... But yeah, when, when, I mean, that, that match had someone drinking someone else's blood and then spitting it out like they're Triple H. It was pretty awesome. Do I think CM Punk's coming back tonight? No, but I think WWE has missed a very large opportunity. Uh, is my mom going to come on stream? Yes, she'll come on stream and do her regular a and There's no YouTube today, no. How was d and I had so much fun. CM Punk's pretty dog shit at MMA. Well. A lot of MMA fighters are dog shit at boxing. People do different things though. Uh, I'm definitely not going to hate on CM Punk for going and getting his ass kicked at MMA. I, I would give him credit for doing it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have no problem with that. As someone who enters a lot of Twitch rivals and gets their ass kicked. You know? Why did you fuck that all up, Shark? God, why can I not beat that one today? Why did I? The Elden Ring was a lot of fun to watch, same with Fallmania. Uh, thank you for watching my non-Mario sh shit. My mom's still at the airport? Yeah, I never went and got her. Maneater was a fun little, like, three hours of video game. Like, I don't think Maneater was a, a good game, but I think it was a fun little couple hours. You know, like, I'm totally okay with 
games where you just do something cool, you know? Main Eater needed a sandbox mode? Yeah, kinda. That would have been pretty fun, actually. Like, I think you can do a lot with a game where it's just fun to roam around and cause carnage, you know? Like, I think that's a... Like, if you just get that right, you can do a lot in your video game. A la Grand Theft Auto, you know? I gotta move the belt off Roman Reigns. I need I need MJF to go back to being a twat bucket. I want MJF and Adam Cole to go back to both being bad guys. And I want mostly I want Britt Baker to be a bad guy again. Kidding me? Oh, I hate it. I just want my friend back. I know. I just want MJF and Adam Cole to break up, so I'll be my friend again. No, this is not 1.1. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I might wait to do my second playthrough till 1.1 comes out and just try hard mode until then. Uh, I am gonna speed run this game. Definitely do some runs for sure. I sound like Roddy Strong. I understand what Roddy feels like. It's not gonna be out for a bit. Corn Dilly to look forward to? Yay. Well, good news for us, I probably also won't beat this for a bit. chance a YouTube stream today. No, unfortunately. Uh, I'm, I'm only streaming for a couple, um, couple minutes, or a couple hours today. That's the shit I gotta cut out. I gotta cut all those little dumb ones out if I want to have a chance at this, you know? I, you know what, I can just run off there instead of jumping and that's safer. I need to create the safest strats for these rooms. Yeah, 
S2. It took him 30 hours. I've got seven and a half right now, I'd say. How long have we been going today? Two hours? Whoops. You need to create the strats you're most consistent at, even if they aren't the safest. Wouldn't that make them the safest AR one? It's just hard because you have to kind of sacrifice a room to do any sort of experimenting, you know? Uh, fuck Ohio State. I'll PB for you, but fuck Ohio State. You can just wait for him. Dude, I'll take, I will take any spoilers or tips now. Um, besides what's at the end of this room. Or that what's at the end of this. It's the only spoiler I care about anymore. So just don't tell me what's that, what's at the end of this, but pretty much everything else will, will ride. Cause I think, I'm pretty sure I've found everything of significance. Like I'm pretty sure anything else is just Easter eggy. You know what I mean? Ohio State fans are the worst, but Michigan cheats. CJ Stroud has made me not hate Ohio State as much as I used to. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, I kinda love CJ Stroud. Damn, that one's hard, man. New England cheated for years and no one cared because they were winning? What do you mean no one cared? What are you talking about? People still moan and groan about Deflategate. Today. Tons of people cared. I could do that with room 81. Oh, cup ta ta. The tuck rule still bothers you? See? You need three more QBs to go down, and the Lions have a chance. Uh, the Lions have a chance if they play good defense, but they're, um, the offense is falling apart. I mean, we can still score points, but we're turning the ball over so much. It's insane. Jared Goff is playing bad football right now. For the last three weeks, he's been playing bad football, and before that, he was playing mediocre football. Yeah. It's not, it's not a good look. And, and I think if you had any question mark on, uh, any real question mark on the lines for the season, it's like, could Jared Goff do, continue to not make mistakes? You know? You can be an unspectacular quarterback if you don't turn the ball over. Yeah. Is Boulder's Gate 3 still a thing? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, we've just been busy. All the Mario games come out. Here's the thing with Boulder's Gate 3, though, for me and... For me and DGR, we're treating it like dad D&D because we don't have the ability to D&D. Oh no! That was... Mitch solved the puzzle and my PB is still 17. 
I know, I'm getting like to 15 every time. Yeah. That was, you know what, that was my fault. I thought I was safe there. I thought it was gonna go farther to the left. It was farther to the right than I thought. How many rooms to clear? 81. Whoops. Days when you wish the poo hitbox emote was still a thing. I know, I need to bring back all my old Mario emotes. All professional sports is about cheating? That's ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, professional sports do have a lot on the line. I feel like me, Carl, DGR, and Barb would have a blast playing D&D. I feel like we would. I feel like the chances of the four of us with, what, six kids between us getting together and doing that is zero. Zero. COVID lockdown escape rooms. God, those were fun. That was basically D&D hindsight. Oh! Bullshit. Go play pretend while your dads go play pretend. I actually think my kid would love D&D. Kid loves Simpson pretend. COVID was essentially just an MMO escape room. If you think about it. I don't want to think about it. I still can't believe like it's still a weird thing that like happened. At the same time, it was kind of awesome because I got so much time with my kid. And now no one asks, now no one asks, like, when I say what I do for a living, no one asks, like, how the hell do you do that? They're just like, oh, like Twitch or YouTube? Oh, I got a blah, blah, blah that does that. Or I got a kid that wants to do that. essential worker and didn't get shit for time off? Well, I also didn't get time off, but I was doing this, so. Um, not essential. But I didn't have to travel at all, which I have to do now. Yeah, I'm not comparing myself to you. I get recognized IRL? Yeah. Not like an insane, like, not like an insane amount of times, but whenever I... Uh, whenever I go out, it'll happen once or twice. Um, like if I'm out all night at a bar or something, usually. Oh. 
Yeah, you know where it never happens, though, is in Vegas. Like, I never get bothered and not bothered, but I never get stopped in Vegas. And maybe it's just because Vegas is so crazy. Was that? What was that chat? Thirty-five. We'll go with the bigger number. We'll go with the number on the screen, and it makes me look cooler. Thirty-four completed. Thirty-five. Good run, good run, good run. Now, see, now all of a sudden it's like, oh, I can do this. You know, for a minute there, it was like, fuck, is he gonna be able to do this, right? I mean, you that, that had to be the emotion you were feeling. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, he can do this, yeah. Oh. I just gotta double the PB twice. Yeah, exactly. We're good. Big games. You always believed? I was getting a little like, oh no. We're seven and a half hours in ish. Timer's off, son of a bitch. PB's 34, I'm going with the number it said, so it makes me look cooler. Will this run ever be at GDQ? I don't know, I'm not in charge of GDQ. Mm. 
Cat, so for a holiday special, I was thinking we do a... I kind of want to do a gimmick. Like, I want to do like a verse mode in this game. Basically. And like, I want to have like... Basically like give points. Yeah. So I'm thinking like we do a point system for like Bowser's. Yeah, a point system for like Bowser's and then a point per PB of this room. Is he down there playing Mario? Is that what he's doing? Is he playing Switch? Did you already go to Home Depot? Point per portrait. Like have an open game file. We could do a bingo. We could play bingo with a completed game file. We could play bingo. <gasps> Mama, I love you, but I mean Mario bingo. She's so sweet. That's my mom. She's downstairs. Chat, everyone say sorry that I didn't pick her up for from street or from uh, the airport yesterday. If you watch me beat Bowser last night, apologize to my mom. not informed of this? Oh, yes, you were. Grand Parole 3 is just that important, yeah. Grand Parole 3 is a bigger deal than family. 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 Sorry you have a bad son. <laughs> I'm a solid, I'm a solid mediocre son. Oh no! There's a skill issue. People left and didn't watch the kill just so he would pick up Mama Poo. Is that true? Idiots. Yeah, she, she took back all my Christmas presents, chat. <laughs> my grown adult Christmas presents. But you have a wonderful daughter-in-law? <laughs> shaded, shaded me. Shaded me. It's true though. It's true. I'm just I'm I I don't get to live my life. I just get to work. Why why did I have a vasectomy after one kid? Have you had one kid in your house? Oh my god. Um kind of a weird personal thing to hit me with, but um my job, this job that I do, and the way I do it, is very hard with kids. Um, and our life just isn't gonna be set up 
to have two. Like, to having, having another one would mean I couldn't do my tour anymore. Having another one would, would mean a lot of things would have to go. Kaizo Coliseum, things like that, I probably wouldn't have been able to do, bring that back, stuff like that. And there are things in life I want to still do more than anything. And um, me and my wife are still living life. Yeah, that's all. That's all. I get it. We could adopt in the future if we really wanted to. We don't. Who also said he wants headphones that do not look like Amazon Alexis. I love these headphones. I don't. I didn't know they looked like Alexis till yesterday. I did be Bowser last night. Yes. Oh, I fucked up. It isn't a be all end all. It better be a be all end all for us. Yeah, it's not it's not like a decision. We didn't make the decision like right away. This is a really weird thing to talk about with how many people are here? Internet strangers. But it's not like a decision we made right away. It's like we had made the decision and then we waited a couple of years before we followed through with it. So yeah. But I mean really what it comes down to is just like this is streaming and it doesn't mix with kids it's a very hard job with kids and I thought it get easier as they get older but it's only getting harder as they get older did I get approval from the community before my vasectomy a member of the community did it what do you mean did Barb fuck up by having twins? No. I mean, I think that's easier than having one and then having one later on as far as like, you're just jam packing it all into one, one moment. But um, no, Barb's fine too, Chad. Like Barb could take off six months and come back and he's gonna have, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers. Um, he's created something that is would allow him to take a very extended break and be just fine when he came back. He could come back and it would he wouldn't miss a beat. Yeah. He could he can take his he'll be able to take as long as he wants with his newborns. And I hope he does. Like I, I really hope he does. Um because um that early time, I think especially for a dad, is super important. Um, getting that skin to skin. Like, you know, as a dad, you don't carry those fuckers in your, in your belly for nine months. So you don't have that, like, instant connection, you know? You need that skin to skin. It's important for you and the kids, you know? Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, is like once that time is gone, it's gone, you know? And it's the best time. The baby time is the best time. You just don't realize it because you're worried that they're gonna die. Uh, yeah, Barb's gonna, Barb is gonna be great. I hope, I hope he, I just hope he doesn't, I know, like, as a streamer, I feel I feel pressure to, like, be on and get on and, like, things like that, not miss. I hope he doesn't feel that and just can enjoy it. Yeah. I'm not a seahorse? No. Um, but, yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, I didn't get Red Bull money until my son was born. I got Red Bull money three weeks before my son was born. That's true. Does actually ducking shrink your hitbox in SMW? No, not your little one. Um, your big one, but not your little hitbox. Ducking did nothing there except make me feel better. 
<laughs> it's just kind of a force of habit more than anything. Aha! Come on! Come on! TSM's a big award, though. They have tons of people in it. Yeah, but for me, like, that time off for me when I first had a kid was really important because I'll be honest, chat, it took me two or three weeks to, and this is, you know, you're not going to hear many parents say this because um, you're not supposed to say this, uh, but it took me two or three weeks to fall in love with my kid, man. It really did. So. Yeah. Um, not, I, I, you, you don't, you don't want to say that out loud, you know, like most parents wouldn't say that out loud. Like, oh, instant, I instantly knew. Uh, the only thing I instantly felt, chat, was like a sense of like, oh my God, I'm going to lose everything that I've built in my career. I felt like, uh, I felt like pressure. Yeah, I didn't feel that right away. Yeah, I didn't feel that right away. You know what I mean? Felt like a pressure, more pressure to succeed and things like that. Did it take me longer to fall in love with my kid than my wife? Uh, probably, yeah. Is that bad to say? Should you not, you shouldn't say that out loud, but probably, yeah, I mean. Yeah. I I can actually remember the moment, chat. I was sitting there holding him. Um skin on skin. I was sitting there holding them and I just looked at him. And he looked back at me. And like locked, I don't know why we locked eyes. He was like two and a half weeks old. And it, like, I could literally feel a warmth come over my body. Like, it literally, like, I felt like my cold, dead heart uncolding. It was like a the Grinch moment, you know what I mean? And then I was like, okay, I will, I will die for this little child. <laughs> All right, I get it now. Yeah, it took me a couple weeks, but I mean, I, then, then I felt it, you know, then I absolutely felt it. Isn't that kind of more special though? It made the, fr I don't think it made the first two weeks easier in our household. My point is, it's just, it's, it's a thing for dads. Like it, my point is, and I don't think anyone wants to talk about it because like, let's be real. Let's be real. Dads didn't push anyone out of their vagina, right? You know what I mean? Dads have generally the entire process is a lot easier for dads, right? And rightfully so. We should not be the focus of any sort of center of attention, focus at all in any way, right? Right? Like rightfully so. But because of that, because of that, like it, it does get lost, you know, for dads. Cause dads go through postpartum do, dads have a hard time connecting. There's a different type of pressure on a dad just because, and, I, and I'm not insinuating yeah, I, I want to be really clear, not insinuating anything is like, dads have it hard, it's just different. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, there's like, they feel pressure to go back to work right away. They're trying to do everything for everyone or they're failing left and right. 
they don't have the immediate like immediate like feel of like responsibility and things like that oh man It's just a different, it's just different. It takes the emotions longer to go. Not to mention, not to mention like everyone, you know, every guy's already dealing with our own, um, you know, fact that every single one of us at some point, you know, and, and a lot of us are better now, but we all spent many years, you know, pushing our, uh, pushing our emotions deep down inside too, you know? Yeah, it's different for everyone. But my point, my whole point of all that process is, as I want dads to take as much parental leave as they can when they first go, because I think it's really important for them to. It's something that I definitely wish I would have done is taken a little bit more. Yeah, right at the beginning. Yeah. That's my general thesis that I was getting out of that statement, you know? Yeah, I, I had two and a half weeks. I had 17 days. I wish I would have taken two more at minimum, maybe six. It's, a, it's actually like a big regret I have. Bye, Mama. Love you. Are you guys going to Home, de home Depot? Oh, you guys already went? Wait, what'd you build today? Is it an ornament? Your job gives eight weeks of maternity and paternity? Legit. I think there is a, I think, I think, Maternity and paternity leave is a long-term, um, long-term benefit for the economy. Yes, because kids, because then those kids can grow up to be well-adjusted, high-earning consumers. Oh my god, I fucking suck at that worm. Chat, 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 chat. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, sometimes chat, sometimes chat, you have to, you have to con people into serving their own special um, selfishness and to get what you want, okay? Think about the arguments you make. Think about the arguments you make when you make them, all right, and who you're making them to. Yeah. It's a black lotus, yeah. Yeah, Stu's finished it. I haven't finished it yet, no. No, this is something I'm gonna do one time and then never do again. <laughs> yeah, I'll do this one time and then never, ever, 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 ever do it again.
Never knew I was into magic. Um, I don't play a ton. Chat! I don't play a ton anymore. Um, I played a lot as a kid. Um, but part of it is, I mean, it's not just because of magic. The Black, Black Lotus reminds me of my brother, uh, my late brother, a lot. And also, I just think it looks cool. A lot of people have, like, I wanted a flower on my hand, but I didn't want a rose, you know, because everyone has roses. I like the, I like the dark, it's dark, but still kind of feminine, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is way easier than the way I was doing it. Uh, Dan McWilliams did it. He's really great. You can look him up on Dan McWilliams Art on Instagram. There might be a link to it in the chat. Um, but he's doing my whole left arm. And then my right arm, I'm just getting random bullshit done on my right arm. Just released somebody just rele released a remix of Cult of Personality. Okay, that does make me think that CM Punk's gonna be out tonight, Johnny Flash. Uh, will I consider getting Super Mario flying? Um, I don't know if I'm really into getting some. This sounds weird, but I don't really want to put Mario on my arm. It doesn't really fit my aesthetic. Even though I already have a Pokemon on there. I don't know why, but I just feel like Mario is a little too bright. Um, and I already have some Mario tattoos on my other arm. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just don't love the idea of getting Mario right now. So, we'll see. I might change my mind, though. I just took the second skin off it. Too. I gotta just dump Aqua for what's that lotion? Ever watch Ink Master? No, but my buddy Chris has gotten a couple tattoos from people on there. He just got one. He actually traveled to Europe to get a tattoo from one of the Ink Master winners because the guy was giving a discount. If you travel from the US to Europe, he gave you the discount of your plane ticket. But he was like, well, I mean, I was gonna travel to LA and then I'd have to pay for the plane ticket and I wouldn't get to be in Europe, you know? I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Your wife hates tattoos? My wife likes, um... Oh, your wife who hates tattoos loves mine? It's because he's a good, such a good artist, yeah, that's why. Um, my wife is all about the grimy white boy look here.
She's digging the mustache and hand tats era. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in my. I'm in my um, midlife crisis era. Clearly, I have an expensive virtual car, and I'm getting a bunch of tattoos. Yeah, she she wants the slim shady era to come back, not the Eminem. Straight from the trailer park. I think that's why she likes me. The classy trailer park. so much. Oh, as far as I know, the only person that's beaten hard mode legit Stu, period. Um, it took him, someone told me it took him 30 hours, uh, which means if I had to guess, probably gonna take me 60, because I'd say Stu is better than me you know like objectively I just say that's probably true you know yeah and I don't I don't say that about many people and, and I want to be really clear chat there's not many people I think Stu and Calco I think the only people that I would say are better than me at Mario Mario World Kaizo levels that's it everyone else everyone else is everyone else is pretty dang good and I'm at least, at worst, at my best day on their level. You know? I'm coping so hard. What do you mean I'm coping so hard? How am I coping so hard? Sue so took the day off work to do it? Man's got a job still. At my best in 2018? better than you <laughs> how many GDQ runs you got tofu how many how many I just did one this year it was amazing how many world records you have anymore two Too. Remember when you said you could beat me at Dram World and then you gave up? Still number two at that game. <laughs> Tofu, I love you, man, but. Tofu, I love you, but, um. Resumes? If we're comparing resumes, baby? Super Mario World resumes, you got me beat tenfold? You're insane. How many hacks have I beaten? Is that all you're just going by number of hacks beaten? Is that your, is that your number? <laughs> is that it? Is that your, is that your, is that it? How many second places do I have? What are we talking about here? What are you even talking about? Yeah. 
Tofu, baby. Tofu. I mean, my stage is, I've, I've had, I just, I just did Baron of Shell live in front of a crowd and smacked the shit out of it with, with COVID after taking two years off the game. I don't, I don't know what you're even trying to say. You can, you can copium all you want. And you can try, and it, I was putting you on the list of people that I think are right up there. I think the I think there's two people that are better than everyone and have proven it, and then I think there's just this large group of people that are all in one big list that I can go through. We are talking shit, but one of us isn't delusional with it. No, Calco and Stu. For SMW, it's literally Calco and Stu. I, you got, you got, I'm sorry. They're like, I, I don't know what you guys are talking about. And then I would put literally like Grammy, Barb, Shoujo, Tofu. There's like a, this giant list of people I would put that are all capable, depending on what day, what you had for breakfast, what day you're doing, what the hack's like, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Like, et cetera, et cetera. The Thab Erasure? I'm not erasing Thab, but he doesn't play Super Mario World Pumpkin, Pumpkin Pickle. He's, he's not grinding Super Mario World everywhere. I'm talking about Super Mario World. Kaizo. Thab would be the first one to tell you that. Yeah. You, you, you guys are confusing things. You know what I mean? Who are the top two Mario Maker 2 players? I could give a fucking shit who the top two Mario Maker World 2 players are. Honestly, I think being the best Mario World player is... Not too valuable of a skill either in the grand scheme of things, but. Yeah, Thab's really great. I'm saying, dude, the list of people I would put in that tier two is long. Yeah. Yeah, the list of people I'd put in that tier two is super fucking long. I, I, you guys are weird. You guys are weird. I can say someone's really great and you guys are like, he's not number one. You're fucking shading him hard. Whoever your favorite is the number is number one. I'm not hating on tofu <laughs> but 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 he wanted to compare resumes he started talking shit with resume comparison and I've got a pretty decent resume in in this Kaizo game you're willing to race me on any playing field I mean, what happened to that dram race you wanted years ago? <laughs> oh. I tell you what. I tell you what, Tofu. Um. You called me washed up. So if you want to beat a washed up me at Baron of Shell today, right now, let's go. You just said any playing field, let's go. Oh, 
wait, 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 no, 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 today. Or, or Tofu, you can stop being a twat and just admit that any game you know you'll beat me at and any game I know I'll beat you at. And we can stop doing this dumb fucking shit. And we can stop doing this dumb fucking shit, okay? Oh, let's play the game that you've beaten four times already? Okay, all right, all right. You know what I mean? Like, let's do this. Let's stop doing this dumb fucking shit here, okay? I'm talking about resumes. You want to talk about resumes? Yeah, you're the one, you're the one. I was giving everyone credit. You're the one who had to declare yourself better than me, all right? I put you in the exact same echelon as I was in. You were the one who had to declare yourself better than me, all right? I'm just saying, you wanna eat, re you wanna compare resumes. Let's, let's, do, let's do some resumes. I didn't say I was third best. I did not say I was third best, Tofu. What I said, what I said was there are two people that I put in a upper echelon that are cons that are definitely 100% better than me. And then I said, and then I've consistently forever, forever have said this. And you could ask anyone in my chat that I forever have said this, that then there is a tier of people that were all very equally as good depending on the day. I've always said that. I think they should race hard mode. I have always said that. You're a fucking liar, Applin. I'm tied for third with 30 fucking people. Barb's there. Grim's there. Glitch is there. You're there. I'm there. There's a million people when everyone's playing, you know? Let's compare hard mode timers. I'm at seven hours right now. Whoop de doo da. What do we want to do? What do you want to keep comparing? What do we want to compare? Tofu, what do you want to compare? Go, go, go do a GDQ run. Go do a GDQ run. Tofu, I'm going to say something. I want you, I'm, I want you to know that, that this is a joke. Go do a marathon run and not get timed out of the stage. And then you can come talk to me. <laughs> GDQ would force him to wear a shirt. Dude, I've kicked a console and still come in under time. I kicked a console twice and still come in under time. The K fame is real. But yes, that's what I'm saying, Tofu. You could beat me on any game you know. I'll beat you on any game I know. And then anytime we race, it's gonna depend on who fucking had the, who had the least to drink the night before and smoked the most weed the day of. And I think that would apply to you versus Grim, to me versus Barb, to blah, 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 versus blah, 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 versus blah, 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 more or less. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a lot like the NFL. Where there's about 17 quarterbacks that could win a Super Bowl, but there's one Patrick Mahomes. Dylon versus Dylon versus Dylon. Uh, in what? In what? That's what I'm saying. You got, you're just making this shit up. You guys just, you as viewers, you all just pick whoever's your favorite and they're the best because you watch them the most and they're the most impressive. It, it's, I, I, I think you're, if you don't think that's true, I think you're an idiot. Honestly. Mm. 
Yeah. I love you too. I don't even know if Calco plays Kaizo anymore, so. I'm just saying when he did, we couldn't touch him. Dram's the best period. Best looking. Even Kate was like, damn, he's aiming low today. You aimed low. You aimed low. You, you A, misinterpreted what I said. B, declared yourself better than me. And like just blatantly declared yourself better than me. With your delusional cockiness, I'm realistic. I say there's a large group of people. If we were having a draft, you could draft a large group of people and they'd all be good. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's un, not unlike the NBA all-time greats, right? Someone might be Tim Duncan, and maybe he's better than Shaq. I don't know. I don't really know. Giannis is really good. Is he better than Larry Bird? Maybe. I don't know. Tofu isn't even better than DGR. I think on their best day, everyone's really great. I don't want to know the reward now. Tofu, Tofu's so much better than me that his resume is five pages less, less long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm done. <laughs> a grower, not a shower, fair. Fair. That just means I'm old. That is true, that is true. I mean, I did have... I did have world records before most people started even playing Kaizo. That is, that does factor into it. Definitely does factor into it. I'm a boomer. Who has more hair competition? I don't, listen, man, I'm not in a, I'm not trying to get in any hair competitions. Let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that with me. I'm trying to keep mine short. shave my head honestly oh fuck i'm dead i'm dead i'm stupid does the carpet match the drapes hardwood floors baby i think it's i i i wouldn't i i um yeah i i honestly i've watched enough people play though that like yeah on good days i'm great on bad days i'm bad other players are great on good days. I mean, I've done enough. I've done enough world record things with Grim. Like we've gone back and forth on world record enough to know that I can compete with him. He can compete with me. Vice versa. We've all taken it. Can I tell you the secret. Whoever's best at any game is the person who plays it the most. Doesn't matter which one it is. The person who plays it the most. They end up being the best. Ah. Yeah.
I'm gonna tell you a, a hard a hard secret chat a hard secret here um, There's no substitute for practice Yeah, there's no substitute for practice uh, you know what, Tofu, you say that, but that just automatically comes off like an excuse. <laughs> the only excuse that matters? Goalpost moving. We talk about practice, not a game, not a game. Yeah, it is, it is, but that really is what it comes down to in speedrunning now. I mean, you're absolutely right. Oh, I'm an idiot. Practice, yeah, practice. Is that a permanent tattoo on your hand? I hope, I hope it's permanent. I, d I don't, I never want to go through that again. <laughs> yeah, I never want to go through that again. Ugh. My hand was swole. Um, you know, it wasn't, it just, it took so long. Like after about five hours, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, after about five hours, it takes about, took about seven and a half. Um, cause he packs the color in there, and then it was, my hand just burning, and then it was so swollen. Uh, yes, Tofu is extremely great. He is in the top 99.9% .9 of Mario players. Watches anyone on Twitch because they're number one at a game. They watch people because they make them happy. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to make him feel better. His ego is clearly fucking sky high right now. What do you mean? His ego is clearly sky high. You don't have to sit here and make him feel better. The bad. I, I didn't even start the shit talking and I'm the bad guy. I give everyone credit and I'm still the bad guy. Everyone knows he handles hate way better than love. I think that's part of becoming a Twitch streamer. I would say the MMMMM level. That one, that one is probably my early favorite. That one really stuck out to me. Um, 
I really like Gates of Fire just because I like that type of shit. You know, I like that like constant button press, small jump shit. Um, what's the other one? Ah! Yeah, I liked those a lot. Idle Hands was good. Yeah, all the levels that like rehashed a gimmick were all really good. Yeah, they were all really, really great. Um, we. Uh, the SMB2 levels were cool. Yeah, they were cool, but they weren't. I, I wouldn't put them in my favorite. There wasn't any. What? I don't think there was any bad levels, particularly. The one water level where you. Pull things out of your uh, prison pocket it was probably my least favorite, but still, like, I still liked that level, you know? I still really enjoyed that level. There's no corn dilly in this one. Well, I mean, except for corn dilly. I mean, except for corn dilly. <laughs> Which is, I mean, for 40 levels, like, that's fucking wild, yeah. Oh. oh, shit, I got the coin. I'm glad that was, I'm glad that was right away. Is this game fun? Super fun. But I find fun in doing hard challenges. Best name is Bubbles, bitch. Yeah, but I mean, that level just ripped off Mario Wonder. Come on. Dying Revival level. Oh, yeah, that level was fucking sick. Yeah, the Dying Revival level might be my favorite, actually. That one was really sick. That was a cool puzzle level. The only problem... Ah, you bitch. The only problem with levels like that is, like... Like, the first play is just always so much better than every other play. Yeah, I thought that one was really, that one probably was my favorite overall. I thought that one, the, the dying, the section where you die, I just thought was so sick. Come on. I'll say Michigan State coming down to the wire. Yeah, the community in general is just so much higher. I mean, the the everyone's gameplay is just playing at like a absolute high level. Yeah, it's it's insane. But I mean, that's how it'll always be. Like you know, just progress. I'm a U of M guy. I mean, not really. I'm a Colorado kid. Um, 
but I like Michigan significantly more than Ohio State. Yes, Tofu, we've all gotten. All of us. Worse, I did? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, how many rooms are there that I haven't passed once? None. I passed them all. Uh, no, I passed them all at this point. Ah! That was a stupid one. I got a whole run. Uh, 35 this is my PB now. How many rooms total? 81. Michigan one. Good. Everyone, everyone acts like Ohio State's never cheated before. Woo, free dub. You hope you dub makes the college football title game. Well, I mean, they're gonna be in the playoffs. Uh, yeah, this might take me like a month, two, three to finish. Um, I'm a streaky, I'd say I'm streaky. So I think that's, that's good for me, but that's also, cause I think being a streaky, fuck. I think being a streaky player like can help you like run off like, you know, a great 10 minute run. But there's also times where I'm just like not hitting 10. Yeah, I'm a streak, I'm a streaky player. I think I've always been kind of a streaky player. Yeah. Time to streak now then. Yeah, I think I've always I would I would always say I'm more of a a, a streaky player. Come on. Yeah, I get in zones and I get in unzones. Yeah, I know. Like, I feel like at this point, like, I'm consistently. Like, there's no room that's, like, beating me, you know, on the reg. It's just. It is just, like, you know, making sure you don't fuck up, but yeah. Did she enjoy her time at the airport? Yes, loved it. Do I think this will take longer than 100 hours? Um, I don't know. I don't know, I mean... Even that, I'd say, was just... Like, even that 100 hour thing, I feel like it was bad luck, because I, I was at the last trick for from like 35 hours on. And I just couldn't get it, but I could get it in practice like 10 times in a row. I think it'll take me longer than 30 hours. Yeah, I think it'll take me longer than 30.
You don't think it'll take me longer than 30? I think it'll take me longer than 30. Yeah, I definitely think it'll take me longer than 30 hours. No, I, I don't know. I mean, it does just, it does just, it literally, I feel like it just takes that, like, it's kind of like, Splun Ugh. it's kind of like Splunky where I just had it. Tofu, now are you saying, are you saying I'm better than Stu? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm streaky. No, I don't think I don't think that. Can we all agree that Calco's better than us though? Can we all be in agreement with that at least? You always forget how long it took me to do 7.99. Well, some people banged out 7.99 right away. Oh man, I don't know, man. Have you ever seen Calco's when Calco did Capeless at GDQ? That was the most, that was the most perfect live SMW I'd ever seen. The most perfect live SMW I've ever seen. Capeless at GDQ. Yeah. Whew. That got me horny. Cliffy blindfolded, uh, one of my favorite, oh, one of my favorite GDQ moments, period, because everyone acted, ah, uh, everyone was in on the joke. That was one of my favorite moments, honestly. I think I'm at eight, I'm at eight and a half hours now, actually, not seven anymore. I gotta update it. Woo. I'm wondering how many, um, I'm wondering who, if anyone is gonna submit this to the GDQ, like the second lineup. Should, yeah. Um, uh, what's my PB? Thirty-five. Is this on speedrun.com? I don't know. I don't care. I wouldn't submit my PB anyway, even if it was. Even if it was, I'm not submitting my PB, so... I mean, I had the number... What, I got all the way up to number six in Mario Wonder? Didn't submit. Yeah. Am I gonna run this? Yeah, yeah, probably. Definitely gonna do some runs. streamers will learn to use screen space to give important info like time on blah 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 and time on blah 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 uh all right dropkick the reason why you don't is because all that information can be given in one sentence in a youtube video so you're just clogging the screen sometimes um etc etc um some people don't like clogged screens too much information dropkick uh, it takes away from what you're actually doing. Um, you gotta have kind of a clean thing, yeah. And I don't know if you noticed this, but I did put that information on there and people are still asking anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Any people sent routing will be interesting.
It will be. You think he was being sarcastic? Oh, damn it. Damn it. I just answered a sarcastic joke with a real answer. Damn it. What's this game called? Uh, Grandpa Walter. What is my hat? What do you mean? My hat is my uh, sponsor obligated capsule. caught up on the VODs last night. Hope you've had as much fun as I did watching. Uh, probably more. I, I think more. I want to play, uh, I want to play Five Nights at Freddy's because I'm, I actually want to watch the movie, but I feel like I want to play the games first. No, I've never played them. <gasps> you fucking cock dick spike. My forehead's ad space? Pretty much. My forehead's trying to influence you, influence you right now. Ah! Your streamers mispronounce the name, so you get hilarious mispronunciations. Yeah, I've never done that. In your opinion, Five Nights at Freddy's is fun? Well, well thanks. Did Red Bull hats stay on during sweet, sweet loving? Uh, no, my wife does not need influence. Red Bull advertiser, you say? Um, I will say, since they've signed me, the blue Red Bull has gone up in sales. Now, is that directly responsible? Am I directly responsible for that? Of course. Absolutely. Do they attribute that to me? I don't know. But I am their only athlete that consistently drinks it. So... Shit. Doesn't it make Juneberry permanent? No, because it'll replace the blue I like. Um, no, I would say, like, the way that the whole Red Bull relationship has gone with me over the last five years is probably, like, the most optimal situation you can ever have with a streamer because it's a meme like it's a meme in chat you know what i mean like it's a legitimate meme and they do so much like random stuff where they give us you know what i mean like they're clearly funding you know a mario strikers tournament or something like that or fall mania things like that you know what i mean like yeah yeah the best ones are when you when you work with someone and you just don't try to change them at all you just let them do what they want to do, and then you just like throw gas on that fire, you know? Yeah, it's been five years. Hey, 
Yeah, we were talking about it. I'm almost at eight years. I've almost, I've been doing this for almost eight years, full time. Yeah, the cube was fun. Uh, no, I've never. Fuck! I need to stop getting that. Do a subathon for ten years? We'll see. Has Red Bull increased my view? No. How did that increase my viewership? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I guess Fall Mania did. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess like in an indirect ways. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you only watch streamers who are sponsored by energy drinks. I don't blame you. Not that G fuel either. Yeah, they're sponsored events probably, yeah, I guess, you know, but I mean, but I was already doing events before them, like MMC happened before them, you know what I mean? They don't have anything to do with Kaizo Coliseum outside of giving us a lot of Red Bull. Jeff, that's cool. I mean, I, I would just say, Jeff, you don't have to interject your opinion all the time on everything. You know, as like a general rule, but that's cool. Yeah, I don't care if you drink them or not. They literally, they literally, chat, couldn't, like, if you guys were drinking them, there's no way to tell if I'm getting you to drink them anyway. That's not what they do. That's cool. I mean, you don't have to say everything that's on your mind all the time. Yeah. I love lamp. Oh, I didn't I didn't finish it. Right grass ID completely changes the flavor. You're like neither of these things tasted like bubblegum before. Why do they taste like bubblegum now? Oh no, you're allowed to be a, you're allowed to be a hater. I'm just saying it doesn't attract you know, you attract more uh, things with sugar, you know what I mean? Unless you all are commiserating over hating the same thing, which can bond people, I will say. People do bond over equal hate. For better or worse. Nothing like a good trauma bond. It does help. That's something that that something that does initiate. I had sex with a in an airplane bathroom. Same. <laughs> what? It came up organically. Oh, I didn't think I made that. Why do you think coworkers get along? Oh my god, that's probably why coworkers fall in love so often. They have sugar free. I don't I like the zero the zero like if I do sugar free Red Bull, I do the whole zero one though, because it has zero carbs too. Cause I'm like, I might as well just go all the way for pretending to be healthy. You have a date with a guy from Bumble today? You're hoping this is it? So much pressure for a date. Shouldn't you just hope to have fun? Is 
Bumble only for the straights? Is there is there a gay version of Bumble? And how does that work? Like if if it had the like isn't it all Yeah, but like okay, so like but bump isn't Bumble girl talks first? So if you're equal gender, it just like gets rid of that. It can just be like, it's just whatever. Uh, okay. All right. So that, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. Like if it was, I didn't know if they classified that chat. I didn't know if they were like tops go first in like Bumble. Like I didn't know. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I had no idea. I was just asking a question. I don't know about the three seashells. What, what, I did, I. <laughs> Bubbles more to prevent the creeps? Yeah, no, I get that. My name is William, thank you. Thank you, my name is William. That's what I was asking. I was asking A, is it for everyone? And B, how does that work? C, my name is William didn't know that he could be out there banging guys on fucking Bumble too. He had no idea. <laughs> Dating apps fascinate me in general. And then, and then CG Buckeye, yeah, like, are you guys not fascinated about lives you don't get to live? I want to learn about everything, like every, every, like, thing they, like, how do you, how do you do this? How do you do that? How, how does this work? It's fat, yeah, right? Because there's like an extra layer. What's it like to be happy? I know what that's like most of the time. Although I will say this fucking weather. Just got into it. You're still sure you're doing it wrong? Um. I mean, I feel like most dating apps are probably a lot of bots at this point, right? That would be my guess. Like any free dating app I feel would be filled with fucking bots. Yeah, I feel like any free dating app would just be tons of bots. You don't want to hoe around though? How old are you? Bots are thoughts? I think the problem is they're not filled with thoughts. Yeah. 32? Yeah, I get, I get why you're past your hoe phase. That's about time when people get past their hoe phase. Oh, lies. What, have you never had a hoe phase? Um... Well, I would say... Having one's fun. And, um, I mean, not everyone just like gets the options because it usually takes, takes a lot of confidence to have a hoe face. I know for a fact that there are local singles in my area that are interested in me. Right, right? 
definitely easier to do when you're younger, I'd, I'd guess. You know? Uh, but the thing about having a hoe phase is it's strength in numbers. You have to say hi to a lot of people. Yeah, you have to say hi to a lot of people for a hoe phase. That's the problem. To, to create a hoe phase, you have to talk to a lot of people. And that's really the hard part about any of this, right? Talking to people. Talking to strangers. And being interesting enough for those strangers. Or them being interesting enough for you. You know, can introverts be hoes? Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't think everyone needs a hoe phase, no, but I mean, I don't think a hoe phase is like part of your life you look back on and say, I wish I didn't do that, unless you like end up with herpes. But as long as you're like safe and respect to, respectful to everyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. That and lowering your standards? Um, well, usually your standards self-lower by about 28, I would guess. Yeah. Lowering your standards is solid advice. I think the main thing you need to ask yourself always is, would you date you? Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? I mean, I'm a housewife. Yes, I don't think, I don't think people's pasts are, um, when it comes to relationships, are very indicative on their futures, no. I think people's actions are indicative of their futures, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that really has anything to do with anything. Relationships are complicated, especially when you're young. Like, I don't think... Yeah. Leaving with life lessons? That's just my opinion. I don't get, like, the obsession with body count. Right? Like think of any other think of any other gig where you'd be like, oh, you have so much experience and you're really great at your job. No, you can't have it. Come on. Oh, shit. Also, I wouldn't want to subjugate them. If you, if, here's the thing. I think if you're someone who knows that would bother you, why would you want to know that anyway? Because no, no matter what the answer was, it would bother you, right? It would bother you. Yeah, exactly. So that's like such a weird thing. I, it's something I would never want to know about a person. Also, you're weird if you can. <laughs> Unless it's like something that's just like casually on, you know, an easy number to remember. You know, you're weird. If you're, if you're one of those dudes that's like, yeah, 74. I'm like, you're weird. You're fucking, gr that's gross. Yeah, you have you're because you're, then you're putting notches on your bedpost, right? You're literally bed poaching, bedpost notching, or none of them were like ever happened twice. Yeah. When might I try Five Nights at Freddy's? Not today. You remember everyone's name? Uh, 
Okay, now you're just bragging. What if you got married after one? Uh, I respect that. I respect that. I think that's, I think that's a bold, bold decision. Um, simply because I'm the type of person that I think I need to know what I don't like before I know what I do like. But at the same time, when I met my wife, my general attitude about love and marriage is very different than the one I have now. And I, like, she's the one. She was the one. She was it. Like, that that was the person for me. 100%. You know what I mean? So, um... When you know, you know. You know what I mean? My problem would be, like, well, how would I know? If I... Because, like, how do you know if you don't know? I feel like you have to not know to know. As well. You know? But, like, absolute respect... My sister is a high school sweetheart um, person. Mario just go through the saw. Mario doesn't have a uh, hitbox until his mustache. So you can, you can, he's just brainless. It's because you control his brain. How's my day? Pretty great. No. No. One o'clock? It's one o'clock. I need to get off right now, don't you? It is very Hallmark Christmas special, but oh, with the white and black. Oh no, no. Oh wait, no, you're not doing white and black. No, I'm asking which one. Which one? I was meaning. There are known knowns and you, there are known unknowns. Can you come into chat? But there and show are also chat. unknown knowns and unknown unknowns. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, there's known known knowns. She's asking. Show the shoes too. You got to pull the shoes up. Yep. Um, and then can you lean down with the hat? Is this Hallmark Christmas special? Oh. It is, but like also like isn't uh, isn't isn't Christmas yeah. like that it's corny. Like Christmas is a corny time. Yeah, black, black. Black or so, black or black. white socks. Black. Like at the same time, like what else, you that's what you that's what you rock. I like black too. Yeah, I kind of um I like the white, but in a different outfit, and maybe just for us, gotcha. maybe like a plaid skirt type thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Pigtails. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, black probably black for today. The shoes are cute. I, I honestly, babe, like yeah, it is giving Hallmark Christmas, but at the same, but not in like a bad way. Okay. Not in like a bad way at all. Fuzzy you have fuzzy black earmuffs? I mean, you're really good. If that would be full all on Hallmark Christmas. <laughs> right? Uh, chat, actually, looking at the time, I have to get off. We are going to go take the Santa train. Um, uh, we're gonna go take the Santa train around. I will be back. I don't know if tomorrow or Monday. I might take tomorrow off and hang out with my mom.